Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This customer just had a brand new engine installed at another shop and brought it to the shop because they now have a leak coming from their transmission. This technician noticed that the other shop tried to hide a transmission leak by using a bunch of silicone. That's a new engine. Look, look, that transmission fluid standing in there, dude. And this customer had their vehicle towed in after apparently another shop installed a new wheel bearing but forgot to reinstall the axle nut. This customer was driving when suddenly a piece of a palm tree fell and went through the windshield. Luckily, nobody was injured. Customer states his vehicle is burning oil after he did an oil change at home. The customer ended up not draining the old engine oil and added more oil to the engine. The technician said he thinks the engine was two gallons overfilled with engine oil. This vehicle came in for an oil change and the technician working on it realized whoever installed the battery the last time installed the battery cables upside down and the battery hold down was left loose and sparks against the battery cables. A customer drove this in and their complaint was that their vehicle was all over the road. This customer just bought this vehicle from a third-party dealership and brought it in because it overheated on them right away. Since this vehicle is a hybrid, it has a heat exchanger in the exhaust system, which helps with fuel efficiency during cold start or winter. The technician found the exhaust on this vehicle to be pretty damaged and the coolant lines not even hooked up to the heat exchanger. The viewer who sent this in said the customer just came in to get the differential service and never mentioned anything about a bad brake fluid leak they have on their truck. The technician said he always checks the fluids on a vehicle before driving them in the shop, and this was just after driving around the block. The customer said he tried welding a crack in his power steering rack, but it didn't work and he was wondering if the shop could try themselves. The customer said he hit a curb in his Camaro, which squished the aftermarket power steering rack into the oil pan, and he continued driving it over the weekend and drove it to the shop. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing, and you can submit your clips at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching.